Liberal policies don't make good jobs. Mitt Romney was greeted in Irwin, Pennsylvania today by a withering new ad from the Obama campaign about Romney's refusal to release more of his past tax records. Makes you wonder if some years he paid any taxes at all. Romney did release his 2010 returns back in January after much prodding from his Republican primary rivals. I mean, if you're the idea that you could run for president and not release your taxes is an absurdity. His 2010 returns showed Romney paid an effective 13.9 percent tax rate on nearly 22 million in income. He got an extension to file his 2011 returns and has promised to make them public when they're completed. How are you doing? But a growing number of Republican leaders are advising him to release more, if only to put the topic behind him. There's quite a number of which we uh, released. Indiana Senator Richard Lugar ran for president himself in 1996. Do you think that Mr. Romney should release more years of his tax returns? It would be prudent to do so. I have no idea why he has uh, restricted the number to this point. President Obama released six years of tax returns when he first ran. Former President George W. Bush released nine. But Mr. Obama's challenger, Senator John McCain, released just two years and told us today that's good enough for Romney, too. Do you think it's creating a distraction, though, the Obama course, campaign? That's exactly what the Obama campaign wants to do, is create a distraction. Anything to avoid the economy that's in the tank. Even Newt Gingrich now backs Romney on this issue. Well, I, th I thought that he owed it to the country to share more. He's agreed now to go to two full years of disclosure. At the time, he hadn't done that. But he had this advice for the Romney campaign. I think they've got to be tougher and more direct, and I think they will be. Part of the challenge for Romney here is that it was his own father, George Romney, who set the standard for presidential candidates when he released 12 years of his tax returns, Scott, when he was running back in 1968. Nancy, thank you.